Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to another video talking about tap forms. Today we're back in the forums uh, looking at a uh, post on using the concat function in tap forms 5. Jessica asked this question, uh, you know, my first post here, interested in getting a start on amateur radio, made a form to notate names, call signs and location of friends as well as people I meet. Uh, the developer Brendan told me to use, if I use a calculation field, I could make it so both the first and last names are displayed while viewing the records list. Does anyone know how to do that? So uh, Daniel, another regular on the forum, replied with look at for the concat function described in the documentation. Uh, and Brendan has a, a concrete example, you know, first, last name. If you're using iOS, uh, the square brackets uh, are used there. If you're on the Mac, you need to double click on the form. So let's just actually have a look at this. Now, uh, we have uh, a couple of candidates here, but I think we're going to go with this John Doe example. Now, if you have a look at our feeds list, we have this composed name, uh, which is John and Doe. We have a preferred name, given name, family name, uh, all of the names under the sun that you would expect for a contact. Uh, when we have a look at that, we've done uh, an interesting one here. We've done the script here instead of the calculation field. Uh, and what we're actually doing here is, let's get that out of the way, we're grabbing the preferred name, the family name, and if family name is first, and this script actually is a little more advanced because what it does is if the family name is first, we do family name, first name, and if preferred name is first, if family name is second, then we do preferred name, family name. Uh, one of the reasons for that is uh, in some countries, the family name is first and the the given name is second in the west here uh the us australia many of these places uh it's generally john doe now that's an example of a script field that could be used to concatenate let's uh while we're here create a calculation field uh and we're going to do the exact same thing obviously we're not going to have uh We'll call it full name. Obviously, we're not going to have the same logic to you know, determine fa family name first or not. Uh, we could do that in a calculation field, but just for this one, what we're going to do is very simple. Uh, preferred name, uh, space, and then family name. And we're going to change the result type to text. Uh, important we do that. If we don't change it from number to text, uh, it'll not display because preferred name, family and name, and obviously the space character are all uh, text fields, not numbers. Uh, so we want to make sure that we tick on that. We hit save and we can see that our brand new full name field here has John Doe in it. Uh, so this was a short one, very simple and easy way of how you can uh, use a calculation field to compose, take two fields and put them together. Uh, and ooh, before we get too far along, if we make it number one here, uh we should be able to let's change this back um see that now john doe is uh number one on on the list uh we can do interesting things by actually sorting by family name uh so john doe with the d and then sam off it with the m uh as an extra little change there so Quick example of using a calculation field to join stuff together, uh, ordering it in a list and, and putting it to the top, whilst also changing our sort order to use the family name so that we can get everything sorted by family name and set up together. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them on the forum, leave a comment below. If this video was useful to you, uh, please give me a like. If this video wasn't useful, well, leave a dislike and add a comment and let me know why it didn't help you. Uh, I publish videos on a somewhat ad hoc basis, so hit the subscribe button, hit, click the bell if you want to be notified, uh, and I will see you on another video. Happy tap formsing.